Welcome to a playthrough of Ape Escape for the PlayStation 1. I have been wanting to do a playthrough of this game for so long, it is a massive favourite game of mine. So I am uh, pretty stoked to do a playthrough of it. Let's go! Did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we gonna get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. Spike, Jake, over here, watch out. Spike, the time station. <laughs> no, no, run you two. It works. It actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Spike, can you hear me? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the Lost Land when dinosaurs roam the Earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun Club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with the Time Net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fate is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. All right, and that brings us into stage one. We've got three monkeys to try and capture, guys. This shouldn't be too tough. This level is absolutely tiny, my friends. This is literally it. It's just one patch of grass with some trees and just like a rock in the middle. That is pretty much it. And we've got this thing here. This is called the uh, Stun Club, as you heard the professor say. It looks like a lightsaber, so I might end up calling it a lightsaber. So don't worry about if, uh, don't worry if I do that. But we use it to stun the monkeys, as you see, and we capture them with a time net. And that is pretty much the objective of this game. We're collecting monkeys. And if we come up here, there's one of these things. This is an energy chip. You get a hundred of those and you get an extra life. And you see that thing there? That is a Spectre coin. Woo! Awesome. Uh, they unlock like bonus games and stuff like that. Get out of here, man. Nobody likes you. That monkey's not even looking where he's going. Oh wow, he's, he's pretty crafty. Pretty crafty monkey. Right, now there is actually four monkeys in this stage. There is actually one up there, as you guys can see, but I don't think I can get him yet. I actually think I need to come back here with an upgrade later on in the game. But if we just take this monkey out, that is level one completed. All right. <laughs> oh man, I love this game so much. I'm so happy to be playing this right now. Ah. Uh. Great. 
All right, okay, so um, yeah, here we are. We're in like the uh, kind of control room type thing. This is where the uh, magic happens. Over there, that is a mini game room. You use the Spectre coins to unlock those mini games. In fact, I'll quickly show you that very quickly. You literally come through here, and here it is. This is the mini games. If you get 10 Spectre coins, you unlock this one, 20 for that one, and 40 for that one over there. I'm not really going for 100% completion in this game, guys, um, unless you really want me to. I'm not 100% sure about doing that, though. I wanted this to be uh, kind of a shorter playthrough, because 100% playthrough on this can be uh, can be about 30 to 40 uh, parts. This is the training room. We come here and learn how to use our gadgets appropriately, but I don't think we'll need this, because uh, I think we'll be fine. And behind us, we have uh, not this thing here. Uh, where is it? It's over there. This is a save point. You can, you know, save and load your game and stuff. So let's go into uh, the next level. Teleportation. Primordial Ooze. Okay, so this is the uh, second stage within the Lost Land. There are three uh, levels within the Lost Land, and I hope to be uh, getting those done. Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with- Use it when you're underwater. That is pretty much all I need to know. Thank you so much. Plus, we have to do a tutorial on it here. We have to uh, do some training. So as you guys can see, I'm underwater with this uh, thing here. It comes with a net, so you can fire nets out and capture monkeys that try and swim away from you. They haven't got a chance. And this thing here- this thing's annoying, right? This thing, when it's got a red top on the top of it, it goes off on its own. If it's got a blue one, you've got a choice to uh, read what it says. I wish they all had a blue top because I don't really want to listen to it all the time, but um, what can you do? The game is so, so helpful. I highly appreciate that. Now, over here, there should be a monkey. It's a, well, it's not a monkey, but it's, uh, you know, it looks like a monkey. And that's pretty much it. This is this training bit done, and we needed to do it because uh, in the next stage, uh, which is where we're heading literally right now, um, there is going to be monkeys in water, so we need that. And that door looks like uh, Squidward from SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> uh, I never noticed that before, actually. That's pretty hilarious. Right, so in this stage, we have to collect uh, four monkeys. And as you guys can see, there are six monkeys in this stage. And we can come back, obviously, and uh, get the remaining monkeys if we want to. But that's only if I'm going to do 100% completion. You guys have to let me know what you think about that idea. Now, if we jump off of here... Yes, that was a dinosaur down there on the right. <laughs> we just capture this monkey. Providing he doesn't get away from us. Like that. And if I'm not mistaken, isn't the Spectre coin down there somewhere? Yes, it is. Excellent. And I'm not really going for all of the Spectre coins either, unless you guys want me to. But if I do see any, uh, I will pick them up along the way. Maybe do like uh, the bonus stages at the end of the playthrough or something. You guys let me know what you think about that idea. Uh, oh, there's a monkey up there. I'm coming for that monkey. How do I get up? Can we jump on there? Yes, okay, good. Yeah, there's a dinosaur swimming around here. Look at this thing. <laughs> you can jump on the back of that thing and like... Uh, get up onto other platforms and stuff, but um, we'll see if we need that. Oh wow, okay, come back here. Get back here, man. Now, their helmet, their information helmet, for some reason isn't short-circuiting out in the rain. I don't know why. Um, I didn't make the game. <laughs> but uh, that would happen in real life, right? There we go. You ain't got nothing on me. He doesn't know what he's doing. Look at that. Baboosh. For a baboon. <laughs> These things aren't baboons, obviously. Um, yeah, there's a monkey just chilling up there. How do I get to you? Do I need the upgrade for you? Yeah, you get like all these little gadgets and that. There is a gadget that gets us up onto uh, higher platforms like that. I'm trying to remember how to do it, but these things are a pain in the ass. Like, what are they? What are they doing here? These things are just freaky. Ow! What the hell, man? Let's get rid of this thing. Oh my god! Give me a break! Come on. There we go. Drops loads and loads and loads of energy chips. I'm gonna get fat on energy chips or biscuits because that is the uh, that is what the health is in this game. <laughs> right, where do I get the fourth and final monkey? How do I get you? Am I gonna go for you? I don't want to listen to you. Uh, no, I think we need the uh, power up for that. Right, okay. In that case, is that a monkey in the distance? No, actually, that might be the dinosaur. All right, no big deal. I know what we're gonna do here. 
there should actually be two monkeys. Uh, oh, wait, I know. Yeah, I know exactly where we've got to go. There should be a monkey up here. If we can get him before he jumps off, that would be insane. There we go, and we did it. That is it. Awesome. How are you typing? <laughs> How the hell are you typing, man? <laughs> I love this game. So good. Okay, right, so that brings us back into the uh, control room area again. And we're going to be finishing off the Lost Land now. Because uh, these levels are like so, so, so short. I mean, right at the end of this game you get uh, Spectre Land. And, uh, yeah. Molten Lava. This is the third and final stage on the Lost Land. And how many monkeys have we got to get here, I wonder? Four monkeys again, out of a possible seven. Not bad. So yeah, at the end of this game, like I was saying, there is a, uh, a land called Spectre Land, and um, yeah, that is a pretty interesting place. I won't be able to complete Spectre Land in one part, because that, that would be crazy. I'd have to probably uh, spend like half an hour to an hour just doing that place on its own, you know? If you guys have played this game, you know uh, how big and annoying Spectre Land can be. If we go through this tunnel here, uh, wasn't there a Triceratops through here? I think there was. Yeah, this level consists of like mainly dinosaurs on that. That door is blocking the way. How does it open? You will need to find a red switch to open that gate. Use the L2 button to look around for the camera, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, so I see what we've got to do. So that button there, if we get the... Uh, oh, there's a monkey on top of the Triceratops head. <laughs> yeah, we can't actually get that monkey yet. I think we need like uh, the slingshot for that yet. Yeah, because I think you fire a pellet through there and hit that red button and it opens up the gate. What the hell are these things, man? They look horrible. Yeah, that's a bigger energy chip. It gives you uh, five, as you guys saw. And if we jump along here like this, there's a monkey hiding behind that waterfall. And like I've said many times, my friends, there is a secret behind every waterfall. And I'm not lying about that. There literally is. Right, you're going to be a douchebag. There we go. I'm not going to trip over your banana skin. <laughs> Stop monkeying around, no pun intended. Now if we jump on this platform here before it raises like it's going to... Damn it, okay. I'll just wait for it to come back down again. Somebody's firing at us. One of those freaking things again. Now there's a spectre coin up here. You can just jump up here if you want and get it this way or you can slide down and get it. I prefer to do it that way. And there's an Aerodactyl up there. I think that's what they're called, isn't it? Aerodactyl? I'm not sure. Pterodactyl, actually, I think it's called. Now there's a monkey hiding under one of these eggs! You ain't going nowhere! He just tried to hit me! Some of these monkeys actually have, like, guns and, and like, weapons and stuff in the future, which I thought was hilarious. And if we come through this final tunnel, we get some pretty beefy music, and uh, this isn't really a mini-boss or anything like that. Um, but it's a T-Rex. <laughs> There's a T-Rex in here, man. It's brilliant. I love it. So he's going to try and crash into us on that. And there's actually a monkey riding on his tail. Look at that. Now, the objective here is to uh, try and get this T-Rex to smash into this wall here four times. When he does that, uh, the monkey will fall off and then that'll pretty much be it. So hopefully he'll turn around and stop running away from me. Run! Oh, no, come on, man. You can do it. There we go. Keep headbutting that wall, you dino douche. Come on. Just turn around. Where are you going? Don't turn your back on me. We weren't done. Get back here, monkey. I could get that monkey instead, actually. But it's not the same. It is not the same, people. You, you want to get a monkey that's riding a dinosaur. That's, that's the best achievement, in my opinion. Dude, will you stop? There we go. Oh, come on, man. That was about four times, wasn't it? I, I hit that monkey! Did I not hit that monkey? <laughs> oh, come on. We got this. We got this. Turn around, dinosaur. Come on. i tell you what, I'll cut him off. That's what I'll do. I'll wait over here for him. He'll have no choice in the matter. Will you, Mr. Dinosaur? There we go. Right, that's it. And now he's stunned. And we can just capture him with the time net. <laughs> oh, brilliant. 
Okay, so that is the Lost Land already completed. Like I said, these stages are very, very small, so um, I was able to complete that all in one uh, one episode. You did great. <laughs> All right, so um, I think that's going to conclude part one of my playthrough of Ape Escape. If you guys are enjoying this so far, please uh, smack it with a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I think this is going to be a really, really cool playthrough because I absolutely love the game, just like I love all the other games that I've played so far. And I hope you guys will uh, join me in part two. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.